Got Apprentice Dave here, putting him to the test on this lawn tractor, mm -hmm. and he's going to be asking a question. Okay, what's going on Dave? So, my level of experience is in the small engines, chainsaws, trimmers, and everything. So mm -hmm. I'm just getting into diagnosing um, lawn tractors, yeah. obviously working yeah. for you here. I grew up with a husk bar and a lawn tractor. It was the probably the older version of this. Um, probably underpowered for the amount of grass that we had. So oh, it was for always, sure. It was always broken. That's what it's <laughs> Always blowing belts, stuff like that. Um, otherwise, a good tractor. So one thing I've noticed here as I do this diagnosis, and I'm curious to know what is happening. Do you hear that click? So all I'm doing here with the key, you want to show the key there? I hear that, Dave. Do you so know what that is? I don't. And I don't know if that's something that I, I should know what that's doing because uh, as my diagnosis goes on, that might, mm -hmm. you know, lead me down a different path or a clue as to what the yeah. issue is with the tractor. So it, to me, it sounds like it's like a relay or a solenoid. I'm wondering if it's activating the starter or, or what it's doing. So is there, you know, do you have any information? I do, Dave, and that? I'll fill you in right away. Cool. What that is, is a small solenoid. Okay, so it sounds like that. On yep. the carburetor. Oh, okay. Right here. On the carburetor? Yes. Okay, why? Okay, Dave. So if you look at this carb here, and you can keep playing with the key if you want. Yeah, so it's clicks see when I turn. See the solenoid here? Can you see from where you are? No, I'll get, I'll get my butt off the tractor here. <laughs> right here, if you can zoom in and show the audience here. Yep. So this solenoid is screwed on to the carb. It's got okay, wires. Okay, carb right there. So the two wires, one's a positive. There's juice going to it. The other one's a, a negative wire, which is grounded, okay? So let me turn the key. Yeah. That's what's... Yeah, listen closely. Can you feel that moving? Yes. Or actuating? Okay. Now you're probably wondering, if I hear that clicking, does that mean it's good or it's bad? Right. What do you think? Uh... Well, if you're sending, I mean, if you're sending power to a relay or a solenoid, you want to be able to hear it clicking. Exactly. So when you hear this click on your lawn tractor carb solenoid, guys, okay. Dave here, that's because it's good. Oh, okay. Okay. So what's it doing then? What it's, uh, I'll show you in a second here, but if you don't hear that clicking, right. you've got a problem. Okay. Okay. Okay, Dave. So I've got to use the one here that I keep for testing purposes. I'm going to show it to you. I've got it on the table there. I'm going okay. to get it out, hook it up to a battery, and I'm going, to, I'm going to explain to you and everybody watching what that solenoid's for. Sounds good. Okay, Dave, so here's another solenoid. You okay. can zoom right in here. So that's the same thing that we saw on the side of that carburetor there? Yeah, okay. so come back close in here. Okay. You know, they might look different. This one's a little shorter. Okay. Usually they screw into your carb as you see here, the threads. Okay. Okay. The two wires, one's a negative, one's a positive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to hook it up to the battery. Okay. So when your solenoid is not hooked up, this pin is out all the way, okay? So it's its native position is out. Exactly. Okay, and when it's charged, it, I'm guessing it goes in. So let's... I'll hold we'll, it one we'll, side for you if you sure. want. Sure, we'll simulate that right now. Okay. Hold on, we get zapped. So as soon as you turn the key on and you hear that click, this is what's happening. When you turn the key off, it goes up. Okay. So when you're running your tractor, this pin will stay in the down position. Okay. Okay. So what's it doing then? So what's it doing when it's in the down position mm -hmm. is it's allowing fuel to get through the emulsion tube and there's little jets in there. In the carburetor. Exactly. So that's like an electric plug? Yeah, it's kind of like a, um, almost like a shut off of some sort. Like a fail safe or something. So the reason uh -huh. they've started putting these on the more modern tractors okay. is because, do you remember the old tractors? Yep. You yep. know, you turn it off. Yeah, and it would kind of go like, blah, 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 bang, kind exactly. of. Exactly. Like, like <laughs> you did it right. I like your sound effects. Oh, yeah, yeah, like it would kind of like uh, like run on kind of and then yeah. backfire. Okay. Like dieseling. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. That, that's another term for, for Runoff, kind of, yep. So what the company started doing is just basically putting these solenoids, and they do go bad from time to time. That's why I asked you earlier, if you don't hear that click, 
do you think it's good or bad? Oh, uh, so, <laughs> okay, yes. so if it's not starting, it's because the native position for that solenoid or the default position is out, which is exactly. plugging the fuel from getting into the carburetor. Absolutely, Dave. Got it. Okay, so if you have an issue, and yeah. I mean, it costs nothing to check this, right. you just take your solenoid off, the gas might leak, so, you, you know, put a, a container there. Yeah. Take your solenoid off and just do what I did here on the battery, test it. Right. It has to go down. Okay. Okay. So sometimes it goes bad. Sometimes it could be your wiring. Okay. Zoom in close here, Dave, mm -hmm. because what I want to show you is sometimes if you leave old fuel in your machine mm -hmm. for a long time, right. this little pin will get seized. Uh, the ethanol or something will make it stick. Dirt, varnishized, right. and the pin is like stuck right. up. So even if you put a, uh, you turn your tractor on and the right. battery's good, right. the pin can't come down because it's seized. Okay. Will it still click in that situation? Or? It won't click. Okay. It'll Did just remain in the native position, which okay. is up, plugging the bottom jet right. on so, the emulsion tube. Okay. So okay. if you pull that off your carburetor, super easy to get to at the side, as you can see there. Yeah. Do you have to pull the battery out too, or can we test it like when it's sitting on the lawnmower? Uh, you can. Okay. Do you want to show me how to do that? Sure. Okay. So yeah, Dave, so a lot of people don't have an extra battery like I have here in the shop, so you can just use the battery from your own tractor, the okay. one you took the, the valve off. As long as you know that's not the problem, right? Exactly, So yeah. if, if, if you your have battery's a, bad, right. it's not going to click. Well, if the battery's bad, you won't even be able to turn the engine over, so automatically you know you need another battery. Right. But to give you an example, right. if we test it right on the tractor, since it's working. Does it matter what one's hooked to what or? Not really. So I'm going to swap the uh, wires over. It's just a continual power. There it goes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it works. But on the tractor, you know, the wires are color coded. So right. always keep the same wires together. Right. Now, another way you could quickly test this, guys, without even taking it off is if you can find the ends of the wires on the solenoid. Okay. So you would have to follow the wires. Uh, disconnect them on this one it's not that easy right you could just you know hook up a battery to the to the solenoid on the tractor but that's a little more complicated just take it off test it right so that would be the diagnosis if you had like a wiring issue like a mouse or something got in there and chewed the wire exactly or... i've seen that a lot too where the wire was chewed and okay that wasn't clicking but the engine was turning over okay okay sounds good okay dave so i hope this answered your question makes sense to me Okay, yep. it's just there to stop that dieseling or that backfiring noise when right. you turn off your tractor. Safety. Safety, yeah. But it can cause more issues. Right. Does it make sense, Dave? Makes great sense to me, yep. It does. Now yeah. I know what that clicking noise is. Exactly. Yeah. If you don't hear that clicking noise, you've got problems. If you hear the clicking noise, you're all set to go. Sounds good. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe. Also, if you have any video ideas for us or things you want us to talk about, please comment below the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care.